I'm Vivian. Hi, I'm Elaine. And today we're at Todd's store and you're watching another episode of Anyone Can Cook! So today Vivian and I will be locked in a culinary battle and let's see who will win. Are you ready for round two? I will win! I will. I will. I will. I will. Every challenge, a mystery ingredient will be revealed. There will be 10 ingredients accompanying this mystery ingredient. They will start off with a round of rock, paper, scissors to determine who goes first. The winner will then get to pick her four choices of ingredients, and the loser will then select from the remaining four of the six ingredients. And the mystery ingredient is. Pumpkin? pumpkin. Isn't it weird? So when I first saw the pumpkin, I was quite shocked because I've never cooked a pumpkin before. Berries. <laughs> How is pumpkin a dessert? <laughs> How am I going to mix it with berries? I think it's so weird. Elaine and Vivian will be given the following ingredients. Raspberries, watermelon, tomatoes, green grapes, avocados, red grapes, cranberries, persimmons, blueberries and strawberries. Which ones will Elaine or Vivian choose? Scissors, paper, stone! Oh, yes, yes, why? Yes, 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 yes. Mamala, the last one you won one. Hmm. So Vivian has chosen the following ingredients. Red grapes, strawberries, tomatoes and raspberries. So Elaine picks watermelon, green grapes, blueberries and cranberries. With a clock of 40 minutes, who can whip up the best dish? Let's start the clock. I'll be making a pumpkin yogurt. So I'll be boiling my pumpkin first and mixing it with the yogurt. Yogurt is a little bit sourish, so when you actually boil a pumpkin, it tastes sweet. So the sweet and sour come together and taste very good. I really didn't have a choice. I wasn't thinking much. I was just trying to get the knife through the whole watermelon. I don't know how to cut seed corn, man. So I was like holding the knife in my hand and then the, the watermelon was so huge and I wanted to do a clean chop but I couldn't get it through. It must ah, Whoa. So halfway it was stuck and then I had to literally do this to try to make it go down all the way and then chop it into half. Do you cut watermelons at home? No! <laughs> Is this your first time? This is my first time cutting such a big watermelon. It's gonna be like a healthy dessert uh, with watermelon and I'm going to use the blueberry, make it into like a blueberry sauce over the yogurt. So it's gonna be very refreshing at the same time with the watermelon slices and also quite healthy because of the yogurt and the fruits. So there were a lot of berries and I am not really a fan of berries and yogurt itself, I don't think yogurt would go nice with berries like, since both of them are sour. And But there are watermelon and I actually initially wanted to take the watermelon but then Elaine took it off. I'll never ever buy pumpkin ever again because it's so hard uh, to cut. I saw what Elaine was doing when she was plating and then her yogurt was actually pretty watery, very liquidy and I felt that yogurt shouldn't be like that. Lah. So instead of blending my yogurt together with the pumpkin, I smashed them together so that the juice inside the pumpkin does not leak out and make the whole yogurt very watery. Uh, I didn't want to do things that have too many steps. So if I only could boil or blend, you know, I think it's better this way. Now I'm going to put the watermelon at the bottom. The Pumpkin and yogurt is actually not very sweet. You know, pumpkin is not actually a very sweet kind of ingredient. So I wanted to add a little sweetness to the dish. And I think, you know, I, the only way I could do it is to make the berries sweet so that it could bring out a little bit like, you know, it's more like a dessert instead of a healthy kind of dish. I was looking at the yogurt, I think it was a little bit too watery. I I think the mistake I made was that I added too much yogurt as opposed to adding more pumpkin into it. I think that plating should usually look good. When the food looks good, you would want to try it, right? You might think that it tastes good, it's a psychology thing. So when I see the strawberry and I knew that I'm gonna cut it into half, and just half is gonna look very weird. So I just thought maybe a heart-shaped little strawberries by the side. 
I wasn't aware of it until the very last minute until I saw her plating her dish and then I realised, oh my god, we have both the same dish. So I was a bit nervous thinking that, you know, what if uh, hers look better? Then how? Then, you know, it's uh, additional stress for me because we actually use the same ingredients. Yeah, I have in my new creation, a little bit weird, but I call it the peri-peri because there's a lot of berries and pumpkin. The, actually, the main dish is pumpkin. La, so, at the base over here, I have a tomato and pumpkin boiled together and then mash them together as a base, like a tiramisu like that. And then over here, the yellow colour thing is not custard, it's not pudding, but pumpkin yoghurt. I know it sounds weird, but it probably tastes nicer than Elaine's. And here I have the red berry sauce that I made just now and I top it up with a little bit of fruits grapes and strawberries. Hi guys, so this is my creation for today. It's called Pumpkin Paradise. What I did is I used uh, pumpkin and I mix it with the yogurt. And then after that, I dice my watermelon and also my grapes. So it'll look good. And I actually used the cranberry and blueberry to make a sugar syrup. So it's actually all inside. And then I hope with every bite, it's gonna be really sweet. That's why I call it the Pumpkin Paradise. I hope you will vote for me and if you like what you see, remember to comment in the video below. Thank you! So we've come to the end of today's challenge and if you like what you see, remember to vote for me! 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 me, me la. <laughs> anyway, vote for us and you can stand to win attractive prizes from our sponsor and the details will be given in the info box below. Remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Anyone, Anyone Can Cook!